Hey everyone, Radio Mike here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to all the new people who subscribed uh, after my Weezer OK Human review video that I did. Uh, got nearly 100 new subscribers from that, so that's awesome. I'm now going for 800 to slowly make my way up to that 1,000 subscriber count so I can monetize. So please, if you're watching this video and you find it interesting, I just do videos on pop culture, music, movies, games, TV shows, um, books, whatever I'm like consuming at the time and whatever I like and all the nerdy stuff I do, as well as my podcasts go up on this channel. So I'd love for you to check out some of my other stuff and subscribe. But today, news has emerged that HBO are intending to create some kind of Harry Potter TV series for their streaming service, HBO Max, which currently I believe they have the rights to all of the Warner Brothers content of which Harry Potter is a part of. And all that we really know about this so far is that there is some kind of talks between people about a potential Harry Potter TV series. And I think this is something that is definitely a long time coming. So I'm happy to finally see that something of this nature is finally happening. I think it's pretty clear that currently world building and like universe building and transmedia narratives across different platforms and media are like all the rage. And this is definitely popularized most recently, obviously by Marvel who created an entire cinematic universe that characters interact between and there's an ongoing storyline between different films that aren't just like sequel films they are like universe films and then of course DC tried to get on board and kind of fucked that up but they're still sort of doing it but sort of not and everyone's kind of confused about this and probably the biggest example of this in uh the history of fiction would probably have to be Star Wars, which of course has its movies, then there's an expanded universe of books, there's the sequel trilogy, prequel trilogy, video games, everything that occurs, comics that occur within the same universe, right? And naturally with the world of Harry Potter being as much of a moneymaker as it is, because it's such a popular and huge franchise with such a rich breadth of characters to draw on, not dissimilar to the Marvel Cinematic Universe or just the world of Marvel in general or the Star Wars universe. Of course, it was only a matter of time before Warner Brothers wanted to keep squeezing more and more money out of the Harry Potter franchise. But to be honest, I am really, really excited about this. The same way I'm really excited about shows like The Mandalorian and the Obi-Wan Kenobi show that are coming out in the Star Wars universe. I really like the idea of mini series or TV series with like eight episodes per season, just expanding on the world and not necessarily having to be the most important plot points in that world, just existing in that world because the Harry Potter world, the magic world, the wizarding world is such an incredible world uh, to be in, I think. That being said, I do have a few ideas on where I would like this series to go and I wanted to talk about them a little bit in this video today. I think the idea of them remaking the entire book series as a TV series is highly, highly unlikely. I think the eight films that we got will continue to be like the film canon. I don't think they're going to try and redo the original Harry Potter stories. Again, highly unlikely, but we have seen that successfully done recently with Netflix's adaptation of a series of unfortunate events, which was actually a really, really great adaptation that I thought was way better than that movie they did with Jim Carrey in like 2004 or whatever. Menge, genge. And of course with the His Dark Materials series with Philip Pullman, which is currently in its second season with each season representing a book. I do think there is some merit in do eventually doing some kind of Harry Potter remake or reboot as a TV series like that, uh, where they can fully, fully explore every inch and cranny of the books that had to be cut out of the original movies. But I seriously don't think that is going to happen. So I'm going to rule that out as a possibility. I have three really good ideas that I think would work great in terms of the stories they have to tell and what they could be as a show. And they're all kind of different. So my first idea for a Harry Potter spin-off TV series that I think is probably the most popular amongst like the fandom is probably a TV show based around the Marauders. That is Mooney, Wormtail, Padfoot and Prongs, AKA James Potter, Sirius Black, Remus Lupin, and of course, Peter Pettigrew. I don't know if I'd want to see this series necessarily with them at school, like at Hogwarts, but I do think it could maybe start there and look more deeply into their interactions with Snape while he was at school, as well as Lily, Harry's mum, and maybe some other like popular characters that we know about who were around at that time could be in it. Like maybe we see Neville Longbottom's parents at school with the Potters, or maybe we see um, Lucius Malfoy, who I think is a little bit older than them, so maybe he wouldn't fit in that timeline, but 
you know, I guess if Snape is there, then maybe Snape is talking to other Death Eaters at the time that he's at school. And I think it would be really interesting to see Snape and Lily's relationship while they were at school slash after school, as well as how Snape ended up going over to become a Death Eater in the first place after everything that happened to him at school. And of course, dealing with those themes that we get scattered throughout the books, which is like, is James Potter actually this hero noble man that he's made out to be or was he actually a bit of a school bully and a bit of a privileged asshole who would bully other kids like Snape I think that would be really integral to the story like the moral compass of James Potter and Sirius Black these two hero highly regarded father figures for Harry um but you know also just not but also they're really really flawed characters in another sense and we'd like and we'd get to see much more of that. I'd love to see some interactions between Lily and Snape where Snape is deeply looking into Lily's eyes or even comments on the fact that he really likes her eyes or something like that as a nostalgia baiting kind of thing. Maybe Molly and Arthur Weasley could pop up somewhere in there. Maybe we can go into the story of the founding of the Order of the Phoenix if we're going post high school days. I think all of this would be really cool, but the one thing I think would be cool if it was set in school is Peter Pettigrew seeing bits of Peter Pettigrew at school that maybe hint towards him being a traitor. Just maybe showing him being really petty and being really, really, um, like putting other people, it seems like Peter Pettigrew's whole thing is putting himself before other people and clinging on to where there is power. And that's why he was sort of in the group with James and Sirius because they were really powerful students and he wouldn't get bullied if he was in that group. I'd also love to see them being animaguses around the school, uh, seeing all the stuff with Lupin being a werewolf play out. I think there is so much to draw on in the canon and to expand on there that could make an incredible TV series over time if it's casted well. And yeah, I really, really would love to see a Marauders show. My second idea is completely different. And it's actually based on, I can't remember what, what, what context this video came out a long time ago, but a long time ago, there was this fake trailer for a fake Harry Potter spin-off TV show that I believe was called The Auras. And it was set to exist within the Harry Potter uh, canon, the Harry Potter universe, but it was not linked to like the current timeline. It basically just followed a bunch of auras, AKA essentially the magic police. Well, they're not really police, but like magic detectives who fight dark wizards and just the day-to-day -day things they got up to in their work life, like chasing down dark wizards and having to solve these crimes and solve these mysteries of what these dark wizards are doing. I think a Harry Potter universe crime kind of show like that would be really interesting. We get to see more of the world and learn more about, you know, how the world outside of Hogwarts works. Cause we only really know like about Hogwarts and the Ministry of Magic. We never really see like other workplaces that people can get into once they leave Hogwarts or once they leave magic school. So I think it would be really cool to explore the universe like that and just get more, rather than your Lord Voldemort's like your, you know, tyrannous lords of, of trying to conquer death, just your more day-to-day -day dark wizardry, just your day-to-day -day crimes in the wizarding world and the people that go out to help catch these bad people and send them off to Azkaban and things like that. I really think there is merit in something like that and sort of on the same line as the Mandalorian where you're not really necessarily uh, protruding on the main story. Yeah, there are characters from the main story that come in and out of that, but it is sort of its own thing that just happens to be in that universe. I'd really like that. Like, I don't necessarily think it has to be Harry as an aura when he finishes school, which we know in the canon he does become an aura. I just think it could be random auras, like maybe before the Harry Potter uh, timeline that we know, like it happens before all of that, before Voldemort. I don't know, but I think something like that could be really, really cool and I would love to see it. So my final idea for this that I think is similar to my first idea, but also quite different. And I haven't seen too many people talking about this one and not to echo Star Wars again, but I would really, really love to see a prequel Harry Potter TV series focusing on none other than Tom Riddle and his gradual descent into becoming Lord Voldemort. The same way we saw Anakin Skywalker become Darth Vader, I think there's something really fascinating in that. And I think 
maybe it could be starting with Tom Riddle as a very young boy because there are a lot of scenes, particularly in Half Blood Prince, when we when Harry goes into the pensive, we see a lot of scenes of Tom Riddle as a kid in the orphanage, you know, torturing other kids and having magic abilities, and that is when Dumbledore comes to find him and brings him to Hogwarts. Maybe some things of Tom Riddle at Hogwarts, maybe, but I think the way it should work is Tom Riddle post Hogwarts with various flashback scenes to his youth and his childhood and his time at Hogwarts. So it's him leaving Hogwarts, traveling the world, doing whatever he does, and he's he's uh he's yearning to be immortal and seeing all of that play out, seeing the internal struggle with him. And I would kind of like it if they humanized him a little bit for this, because those glimpses that we get in the movies of the past Tom Riddle, the school Tom Riddle, the school-aged one, or the, the child one, yeah, you can tell there's some stuff going on with him, but he is still human at these points. He's still really human, and they do feel like distinctly different characters. Like, Tom Riddle and Voldemort, to me, feel very, very different as characters. So I think seeing that gradual descent, like the way that Walter White became Heisenberg in Breaking Bad, I think seeing something like that could be a really, really interesting thing. I would really like to see Voldemort meeting Snape, as I already said, meeting Bellatrix, uh, meeting Malfoy, meeting, you know, all uh, in, recruiting the Death Eaters and seeing all these characters play out, seeing him talking to Dumbledore and applying to become the Defense Against the Dark Arts Professor, all of these different things that we sort of hear about in the books or see a little bit in the books, but they don't get expanded upon. And as I said, flashing back to different moments in his past, you know, even Hagrid could be in it because obviously Tom and Hagrid went to school together. I think there is so much potential to make Tom Riddle the focus of a Harry Potter story. And I think it's an untold story that, that I would really, really like to see. I don't know, you could call it like riddled or something like that. I don't know, that that, that, <laughs> that sounds terrible. Riddle, a Harry Potter story, uh, sort of like Solo, a Star Wars story. But those are my three main ideas that I think would be great as Harry Potter TV spin-offs. I would love to know what characters or stories you would like to see. Uh, leave them in the comments below and uh, subscribe to my channel if you want more stuff like this. Give this a thumbs up, comment, go check out my podcast. They're all on my channel, so go and watch them there. And uh, if you like Harry Potter, I also do a podcast where I read out my Harry Potter fan fiction that I read when I was 13. It's called Harry Potter and the Boys. It's on my YouTube channel or wherever you podcast. So go and check that out. It is really cringy and really, really funny. Uh, but until then, my name's been Radio Mike and this has been the inside of my mind. Catch you later. But I went to run my hand through your hair and I noticed You were attached to string you were a puppet this whole time, you were attached to strings.